Hi, this is Nick from Banana Robotics. Today we're going to take a quick look at this DF Robot 2 Amp Motor Driver Shield. This shield features an L298P H-Bridge chip which is used as a motor driver. As you can see, all of the Arduino pins are available as pass-through from these headers. Except, of course, the four pins which are used to control the motors. In this case, pins 4, 5, 6, and 7 are used to control the motors. Unfortunately, it's hard-coded and you can't change which pins are used for the motors. As you can see here, I have this motor driver shield attached on top of a DF robot, DF Arduino microcontroller, but it could just as easily attach to a genuine Arduino Uno or other Arduino family controllers. Now it is a 5 volt board, so that is the one requirement from the Arduino family. The DF Robot 2 Amp Motor Driver Shield is fairly easy to use. It only requires two pins per motor. The pins are 4, 5, 6, and 7, and you can't change the selection, unfortunately. It's hard-coded. The motor attaches to these screw terminals. There's actually a pin header here for connecting motors as well, if you prefer. And as you can see over here, we have another screw terminal, which is for external power supply. As you can see, I haven't connected anything for the external power supply, because I'm driving it through these rechargeable batteries, which are also being used to drive this DF Arduino processor. I wired up the switch here for the power supply. This is just for testing purposes. This is a prototype robot. But what you can see here is it's fairly simple to connect to your motors. It only requires these two wires per motor and two digital outputs from the Arduino compatible board. And one of the pins is used for the PWM for one motor, and the other pin controls the direction of that motor. And of course, you have two pins for the other motor that work the same way. The PWM is used to control the speed of the motor, and that's a common mechanism for controlling mo DC motors. You can see the motor controller here is an L298P, which is a very popular chip. And we can take a look at how this works here. This is again a prototype. This prototype has our uh, yellow wheels with yellow motors, as you can see there. There are no sensors on this prototype, so the programming here is very simple. It just rolls around randomly. So here we'll just turn it on and watch it go. There's a time in the beginning when it just sits here and waits, and it's actually blinking an LED in there. And there you have it. So what's nice about the switch, you can turn it off easily <laughs> when it starts rolling over the table. Let's try that again. See these LEDs over here? These are going to start 
changing when the motors start turning. You see that? So that's indicating the, uh, the direction and the PWM for each one of those motors, which is pretty handy when you're debugging. And there you have it, the DF Robot 2 Amp Motor Driver Shield.